Welcome back everyone. This is John here with you again, JW Music. And today we're bringing to you a Warwick bass. Uh, this particular bass here was brought in to us for uh, string change, you know, just kind of a basic setup, intonation, uh, all of that. So that's uh, brought in, but just thought that we would show everyone some of the items that seem to come into our shop as far as for repair setup. Uh, different things like that what people have in our area and want to show now this is a mid scale base um, this guy here is uh, about 32 inches um, in length uh, compared to some of the 34 and 35 inch scaling so this is considered a mid length so we did have to take that into consideration we were putting on strings making sure that we had uh, the correct uh, string length because uh, when you start cutting it, it uh, strings start to get pretty thick, uh, putting them in the tuning keys. But uh, like I said, this is the Warwick Corvette, and just shown here, and the gentleman still has uh, his stickers on there, kind of annotating where everything is. So you have your volume, balance, treble, and bass. So like I said, it says Corvette, two band electronics and the EMC uh, pickups there so just kind of showing the way those are so you can tell what style of bass it is by the pickups and on the headstock it just says Corvette and it says rock bass if you can see that just uh, chrome die cast tuners we'll go ahead and flip it around show everyone here and this particular model here uh, was made in China. It does go for about 800 new. Uh, this particular gentleman got a good deal on it because one of our other local mom and pops uh, guitar shops were going out of business. So he actually picked this up uh, for $500 as kind of a uh, display model that they have in the shop. So he paid $500 for it and got the case with it. So, and he got a nice little gator case. So, like I say, if you can get the uh, $800 guitar or $800 bass for $500 with a case you're doing well and if you can tell there with the uh, the Warwick's they don't have screws to get into the compartments they just have little plastic tabs to pop so that is convenient when you're trying to do something on the fly you don't have to worry about finding you a, a Phillips head screwdriver just kind of pop that out so it is a uh, kind of a three-piece neck with a little bit of uh, filler uh, another little kind of small inset of wood, but I would still call that a three piece. Maybe some people would consider those uh, small little pieces there and call that a five piece. So I guess you could do that. So, however, you want to interpret that, be either a three piece or a five piece neck. But uh, overall, beautiful guitar, beautiful sounding guitar. If anybody's got one of these Warwicks, uh, let us know. Leave your comments below. Let us know how you're liking them, how they're holding up for you. Now, like I say, this is the first Warwick that we've gotten in the shop, so that's why I wanted to do a first look video just to show everybody. Uh, like I say, they, they have them in our area. We're in northwest Louisiana, uh, about three hours or so east of Dallas. Uh, so we're not the biggest market compared to Dallas or Houston, uh, but we still get uh, some nice brand name stuff in the area. Like I say, even though this one is uh, particularly made in China. But uh, like I say, if anybody's got uh, one of these, you know, leave comments below. Let us know how it's working for you, how it's not, how the quality is uh, holding up. What kind of uh, genre of music you play? He actually wanted this uh, tune to drop A is, uh, is how he requested to have it down. So he's playing pretty low. So let us know what kind of genre of music that you uh, play with your Warwick bass. And if you like our videos, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and share. We appreciate that interaction and telling others about, you know, our channel. And if you'd like to be part of the J&W Music family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way the next time we put a video out, you'll be one of the first ones notified. And as always, here our motto, stop dreaming, start playing. We'll see you next time.